Human relations theory focuses specifically on the individual's needs and resultant behaviors of individuals and groups. It takes an interpersonal approach to manage human beings. It presents the organization as made up of formal and informal elements. Professor Elton Mayo is known as the father of the human relations approach to management theory. From 1924 to 1932, he, along with Fritz Roethlisberger, conducted the Hawthorne Studies. In these studies and experiments, Mayo evaluated the attitudes and psychological reactions of workers in and on the job situations. He initially thought that employee motivation was influenced by physical factors, such as a change in working conditions, including the amount of heating and lighting provided in the working environment, or how rest breaks were regulated. Mayo created what we call the Hawthorne Experiment. He separated workers into two teams to investigate the impact of physical factors on employee motivation, levels, and productivity. He altered the working conditions across both teams by increasing the amount of light employees were exposed to or the length of rest breaks employees received in one team and then decreasing them in the other team. Mayo predicted that the motivational levels would decrease as the working conditions became worse and then would have a negative impact on productivity. His prediction was wrong. Changes to the working environment had no detrimental impact on their motivation and productivity. Productivity levels improved or remained the same. Mayo concluded that social factors help boost motivation and productivity levels of employees. What stood out during the experiment was the positive relationships and clear communications between managers and employees were found to be very influential in regards to increasing employee motivation. Participants in this study started to feel valued and appreciated as they had been selected to take part in this experiment. It made them feel special, which led them to form new relationships and increase their morale and engagement. The theory became known as the Hawthorne effect. Individuals perform better when they're given special attention. With the development of human relation theory, Mayo aimed at improving employer-employee relations through effective leadership practices. Based on the human relation theory, leaders should apply leadership styles to improve employee engagement. This is in line with the leadership practices inventory developed by Kuzis and Posner as a theory to assess exceptional leaders' ability to apply certain general practices. For this study, I examined the leadership practices of school principals and identified a framework for what the Kuzis and Posner leadership practices would be when manifested in the context of the school principal. Theoretically, these practices could enhance the staff engagement and morale and in turn the teaching and learning environments in the school.